Hi guys, Steve Blankert here. Hey, I've had uh, quite a bit of interest in the 44 rimfire cartridges I've been making for my Ballard sporting rifle. So I thought I'd do a, um, actually going to do two videos on how I m convert brass from center fire to rim fire. Uh, the process can be used for any number of different calibers. I'm doing uh, mine is 44 rim fire for this Ballard, but you could do this with 38 rim fire or uh, 41 or 50 cal. I almost any the basic process is the same. So I'm going to do two videos. I think the first one I'm going to do uh, show how to plug a center fire case. So I've got a 4440 piece of brass here that I've cut down to the size I need. And I'm going to show you how I plug the center fire hole with a brass plug. I'm going to solder it in place and then face it off. And then the second video, I'm going to show how I drill an offset chamber to accept a 22 uh, blank or acorn blank uh, as the as the rimfire primer. So um, what I do is I make a brass plug from a piece of quarter 20 brass screw and I just cut these I, I turn these down the lathe to about a diameter of about oh uh, two oh three two hundred somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, now I realize not everybody has a lathe so you know you can do this chuck it in the drill and run a file over it. It doesn't have to be precise it just wants to be a, a, a slip fit into the primer hole. Um, I have found also that a number 12 screw uh, is just about the right size as is. You can put that in a primer hole. So if you can find brass number 12 screws, that, that makes it easier. I just happen to have these quarter 20, so I just, I'm using them. Um, now, I've also seen online where other fellows have done something similar, but rather than solder a plug in, they will drill and tap the center fire primer hole for a quarter 20 screw, and they will, they will cut a, a short piece off screw that in with some Loctite on it and then face it off and, and use that as a way to block it off. I've not tried that way, but I've seen uh, some videos where the guys are doing it and it seems to work. So um, that looks, that may be a good alternative also. I'm just going to show you what works for me. Um, you know, there are certainly other ways to do it, I suppose, but uh, I'm just going to share how I do it. Now, one thing uh, I want to mention, I think some people may be concerned, is I'm going to be soldering this. I'm going to be using silver bearing solder, not silver solder, but silver bearing solder. Um, so I'm going to be heating that case up quite a bit. And uh, some folks may think I'm annealing that case too much and it's going to be dangerous. Uh, true, it is going to soften the brass. That's part of the, you know, that's how annealing works with brass. You're heating it up. But remember that this case is replacing a soft copper folded head uh, rimfire case, which is much softer uh, than this. This is a solid head case. So even though I am annealing the brass, it's still much stronger than the original uh, folded head copper-based rimfire cases that I'm replacing with it. So this this job I'm doing here is really is just for these low-pressure, very old antique uh, black powder cartridges. So, all right, so let's get started here. Um, I've got a plug already. I've got my torch and I've got a piece of brass here. So uh, let's get started with it. I've got some uh, uh, little flux I'm going to be using. So here we go. So I'm going to heat, start heating this up. I usually heat it up about 10 or 15 seconds and put a drop of flux on it. And uh, that flux cleans the metal and helps the, uh, you know, the solder to adhere to it well. And you'll see it's going to bubble up when I put this on here. There we go. So I'm going to get this hot. Enough to flow some solder down into the primer hole. Okay. Now I've got my plug ready with a pair of tweezers here. And heat this up. Make sure that solder's molten. Put the plug down in the hole, heat it back up again because I want that brass plug to get hot enough to uh, for the solder to adhere to it. And that should do it. Okay. So it is hot right now, but as you can see, hopefully the See how the camera can focus on that. You can see the plug is soldered in place here. So I'm going to let this cool. 
Uh, then I'm going to take it, uh, take it over and rinse it out real good, get the flux out of it, clean it off, and then we'll be ready to take it over to the lathe and face it off. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now, and we'll come back to it when I get back over at the lathe. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm uh, here at the lathe. Uh, having a hard time getting a, an angle I can get the camera on. So what I'm going to do is I've got the uh, case here. Let's see if you can see it here. So it's all cleaned up and uh, ready to face off in the lathe now. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to try and set the camera up here above the lathe. And hopefully you will be able to see what I'm doing here. see if that's gonna work all right so I'm gonna put the case in the lathe here put it in a collet tighten it up and gonna bring it over here and that brass plug is sticking out about oh maybe a hundred thousandths of an inch or so so I'm just gonna face it off so it's completely flush with the uh, with the back of the case so it's all just one solid smooth surface now remember this is when we're shooting this is all pressing back against the breech face so while the brass the solder is holding the plug in place uh, the pressure is taken up against the breech face okay and here we go um, Hopefully bring this over here and hopefully the, the camera caught that. Let's see if we can get this where you can see it now. So now, as you can see, it is faced off flush with the back of the case. So now the back of the back of the case is a solid piece now. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and mark it and uh, start drilling it for the offset chamber. So... That's where we're at right now. This is, and again, as I said, this can be done with for any caliber. Uh, you just have to determine what the parent brass is going to work for you, uh, and then uh, then get it plugged. And once it's plugged, then it's a matter of just determining where to drill the offset chamber and uh, and making it. So we'll do that in the next video. All right, thanks for watching.